the best way to see Iceland is in a camper van. And this is our camper van, which we have named Thor. Thor. Because we can't pronounce any other Icelandic names. Sikh. Sikh. And he is mighty and beastly. Actually, he's pretty gutless. But it's a 2018 Fiat Takato manual transmission camper van. You may see that it's sleek and aerodynamic, but not really much to look at. It takes diesel, but you should note that when you're in Iceland, the diesel is black and the unleaded is green, so don't, don't mix them. It doesn't have all the same features RV has, but you can connect to shore power right here, and it's a little bit different connection. Looks like, looks like that. This thing sucks because the bathroom's here, and you pull this thing out, and that little cartridge thing right there, you have to manually dump it, and it's pretty yucky. Over here you have the wasser, or washer, or water. You just stick a hose in there and you fill that beast up. But you can't really connect full-time water to it like you can with a regular RV. Now one of the reasons we're doing the van thing is, A, it's the best way to see Iceland for sure. We're several days into this, and we would not do it any other way. And B, we're trying to see how we're gonna change it up. We've been doing the RV thing, we tried the camper, no, we tried the truck camper thing, and we're still on the fence which way we're gonna go, but this is, is kind of great and kind of challenging. And we will tell you about some of the challenges in a minute. But let me show you the back. <laughs> back here we have the propane. Little different looking tank. Oh, that's why it wouldn't open. That thing's in the way. It bounced up there. These things bounce on all the roads. Are... It looks like there's a strap for it. Yeah. Some of the roads, actually the roads aren't bad, but sometimes they're rough. And we did not go on the F roads because this vehicle is not equipped for the F roads. In case you don't know, in Iceland they have the regular roads and they have the F roads, which are four by fours only if you're renting a vehicle. And back here we have the battery and power cable and stuff. You just grab the cable there, plug it in there, and plug it into shore power when you get it on rare occasion. On some occasion. The windows aren't necessarily great because they're just plastic, but you can pop them open and uh, you know, see the world from bed, which we have done from time to time. We've slept and we've had ocean view. We have slept with beautiful ocean views. Yeah, like look. Oh. And now my lovely assistant and wife, Leela, will give you the inside tour. Hey, lovely. One of the best features of this van is the fact that these front seats both flip around give you access to this awesome workspace, which I have used. This seat's a little bit low. And then over here, if you flip back around there, we've got six speed manual transmission and in first gear, it can get up a lot of the hills, a lot of those paved roads, <laughs> but a little slow up those hills. <laughs> a little bit rough. And then my other favorite feature, which we took us a day or two to figure out, I was like holding my phone in my hand for maps, but this thing is actually pretty dope. You go, uh, you lift that up, pop that thing open, and you pop your phone in there, which has been, which has been really nice. But mostly the front's just like a regular van. It drives like a regular van. It's super easy. So let's talk adapters. European universal adapter right here. We had this. It didn't work. So make sure you have all the components because we are able to charge all of our devices, everything else by just using all these connections in here and there we go. Karen wants me to talk about this section. It's a cabinet, <coughs> but we started off and part of it, we got in here and we did start organizing. We discovered that this is going to be the best place for our charging station because all of those things that are in there. When we first got in here, above here was all the manuals and different things right here. Yeah, Trevor's getting me over there. I'll put my finger because there is no room for me to go over there. But we would just relocated and said, hey, this is what works for us. It's also been the biggest pain point for me. I've hit my head at least 10 times on that thing. Trevor's hit his. Oh, I think you need to go down there and I'm going to have to this show this. Wait, here, I'll go here. This is part of the thing. And this is our kitchen. Now, this is the piece that I do like. It does give more room. However, it does block. So you can't get in and out of the big side door when this is up. Here's our stove and our sink with some dirty dishes in it still. Cabinets, 
you know, same kind of cabinet space and things. We've had plenty of space for all of our food. There's some great pull-out cabinets in here, so there was a lot of great space. So I actually really, really like that portion of it. The other thing that I really like is there is a motion sensor light that comes on in here, because it gets, so you can see what's inside there. The kitchen has these pull-out drawers, and we've just filled them. Who knows what's in here, because this is the bathroom, the shower, and the drying station. Yeah. And how many showers have you taken in here? Um, I sprayed down once in here. Your shower, your toilet, your little sink in here, and uh, the drying station. And here's the light, so you can be in here. And but here's perspective. How big this is! When you want to shower, you simply untie the shower curtain, and here's your shower. You can also in theory yeah here is the bedroom space with the bed up and um, we have storage on both sides with these cabinets this one is coming undone one of the favorite things is these side these pouches so my side and trevor's side i use this as my kind of my back space office as trevor's used the table and there's a little storage down here there is a hanging closet which has been nice to have this for just our coat and the weather in iceland is ever changing. I wore everything from a tank top to a double coats to just kind of a light jacket. Here is fridge. Now I know some of the bands come only with a cooler with it. I think that would be really challenging. I don't know. I think they take ice. Ice is funny enough. Ice is hard to come by you. One feature we're glad we have is this little heater right here. It runs off the propane that you saw back there electronics you've got the 12 volt stuff here and i've plugged this 12 volt into this little inverter that i've had so when we're not plugged into power we can charge our 120 things like the laptop i can also plug this into the inverter and charge a bunch of things at once and when we are plugged into power we have this 220 thing and leela showed you the adapt you need for that but that's only when you're plugged into shore power you can use that and have a little more juice but we've really been fine with power no no real issues right to get a feel for how much room is in here let's just come in through the back we have this body on the floor. Oh, hey, body. And, you know, it's about all there is. It's, it's not a ton of space. Comfortable? Not bad. The only way to do Iceland is in a camper van. This one has been pretty great for us. I don't know if I, I'm not sure how long I could live in a camper. Could you do a year in a van if it was just us? If I had it set up specifically, because if I were to be in here living full time, I would definitely utilize some of the space a lot better. The thing that I've loved about being in the camper van in Iceland is just the flexibility to kind of come and go. We're not on a set schedule to see some of the things that we've experienced in the most epic ways, like blew me away, brought us both to tears. Go ahead and watch that video below.